Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, uh, Robo Papa here. Uh, with today's video, I will try to show you how to track a blob of your own color um, using Raspberry Pi with OpenCV, which send the coordinates via the UART to uh, an Arduino board, which with the Arduino code will control the motor to center the camera. That way, you can continue tracking the um, the blob. Uh, with the code, I'm using only the um, Y coordinates or the X coordinates, um, um, so it's only tracking in on one axis. But you can duplicate the code very easily to track on both of them. Uh, right now, you can see on the screen the two views um, that I captured. One taking um, a video from the uh, Raspberry Pi as it's tracking the the object, and the other one is the camera as it's moving um, from the Arduino code. So there's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Uh, right here we have the Arduino code, and I will post a link to my previous video where I showed how to write the OpenCV code in the Raspberry Pi. Um, I used the Visual Studio. With the Raspberry Pi it's a little bit different, so I'll just touch over here what is the difference between the Visual Studio code and the Linux code. It's uh, fairly straightforward. Um, I'm using the SD um, library because I wanted to uh, capture what the um, UART is receiving from the Arduino, uh, but you don't have to do that. Um, and there's a lot of variables over here that I started to capture the X and the Y, and then I just to simplify it, I decided to use only the X um, servo. So we're defining the X servo, and we're using the X servo pin number nine, uh, which by the way, I'm using the Adafruit motor shield. So nine and 10 are the one that's uh, being used. I'm setting up uh, certain values that I will get from the UART, but also I, I want to save the previous values. That way I can know if something has changed or not. That way it's less uh, jiggery. Set up the um, screen height and width, uh, which is depending on your OpenCV window. That's how you want to set it over here. Um, and those are just constant for the indexes on the values. In the setup, I'm just creating the serial, setting up the servo, and the SD card as needed. Um, this is just a function for that I created for myself to write to the SD card. That way I don't need to write the same code over and over again. In the loop, which that's um, where everything is, I'm checking to see, do I have anything in the serial coming in? Um, and if I do, I'm basically outputting some messages over here. Um, but the main thing is I'm checking to see that the values of the width and the height are not negative one, which that will indicate to me that you know, the, the values are not right or I, I don't need to do anything. But also I want to know if I'm off center or, or did I actually the values has changed um, from the OpenCV. And those are functions that I wrote and they're right over here. And if they do, I'm setting up the save values, writing some more messages, and then I'm getting the current angle of the servo and I'm depending on how is the height, and this is where you will use also the the width um, if you want to move in two axes. Depending on the height uh, with the center, so the, the screen height divided by two, the factor will be negative one or one. So if I want to add or remove um, degrees, so if I want to move down or, or if I want to move up with the camera. And every frame that basically I'm sending to the Arduino, I will increase or decrease by two degrees on the um, servo. The, the off center is just basically taking a certain delta. Um, so if it's greater or equal to 20, I know that I'm off center. And similar things is if the change. So if the values of what I saved and what is current is greater or equal to 10, I know that I've changed. Uh, my position and I need to adjust. Um, the get values are just basically every time that we're coming in, I will call um, the get values as long as I have something in the serial and I'll parse two integers. And I know that I'm supposed to get them as 
one integer colon and another integer and that's um, the way that I'm looking at that so running this code is basically going to adjust the motor to be on the center of the height which is half of 480 which is 240 and with that code is actually going to control the motor so now we can move um, to the OpenCV code within the um, Raspberry Pi which like I said it's a little bit different than if you view my uh, the previous video it's a little bit different than the one on Visual Studio and I'll touch over here with a couple of changes that I that I made so we'll start with the blob uh, tracking.cpp which is basically a library that I wrote over here that's using some of the um, OpenCV stuff and I'm not going to go over it like I said the, there's a video that covers that but the main thing that I've changed um, it's right I'm trying to find it. it's right over here um, I've been trying to play a little bit with the dialect and the road um, on the binary um, image and instead of just duplicating the code um, again and again and again you can just pass um, the iteration that you want so right now I'm passing one and I'm trying to play with that as well as the size uh, I changed that a little bit of the road and the and the uh, dialect um, so that's the change over here another one that um, that is different than the Visual Studio um, we need to do the STD OS uh, OS string uh, stream um, and we're using that to actually create a text um, to put in the original image uh, wherever we're tracking that's the in a way it's the center point of the counter the other um, the other change that um, I have made is within the main program and and over here um, that's just the values over here just the values that I set up for my green blob um, but we're using the wiring pi um, and I have another video of how to install it uh, as part of the Raspbian which I will put a link um, as well um, we're using the the wiring pi because the wiring pi has the option to actually use the serial uh, that way you don't need to use uh, minicom um, and then it's making easier to actually communicate it with the UART so I adding the wiring pi and the wiring serial dot h and then um, actually opening the port to the UART using 9600 uh, baud and the UART on the Raspberry Pi is the dev TTY AMA 0 um, and I have a video of how to communicate between Raspberry Pi and, and Arduino which covers how to set up the TTY AMA 0 because by default the Raspberry Pi is actually capturing it so then you will not be able to communicate using the UART um, the rest of this stuff over here are actually the same of creating that tracker object and then I just remove certain uh, images that way it's not going to be heavy on the on the Raspberry Pi but over here I'm sending the um, the X and the Y separated by a colon as well as a new line that way the numbers will not be um, continuous uh, it seems that it was kind of like um, disturbing the serial on the Arduino um, once again I'm using the O string stream over here to um, parse the integers as a string and then in the end over here the serial puts is where you're using the wiring pi serial uh, made by Gordon um, to actually communicate and all you give it is the handle the message as c dot uh, c underscore str 
and <clears throat> if the um, if the points are equal to zero, um, I'm basically putting the last um, coordinates that I had. And once again, this is where I'm saving the last coordinates. That way, there's always continuation of sending coordinates, and then the Arduino is just knowing how to deal with that. So that's basically the code that communicate between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino using the Wiring Pi, uh, which I really recommend you guys to download and install it. Um, the last thing that I want to show you guys is basically the um, stand that I made for the camera. And I'm using over here the 123D. Um, it's basically two parts. There's the outer layer over here, which the motor will come in over here and you can see that the servo is going to be um, inserted here where the little tag is going to come out over here and then this um, smaller one which is the inner one is going to be the base for the camera uh, my camera has a, a little bit of a cavity in it so i created this um, standoff to basically allow the camera to sit here and be more secure I will post um, the STL files um, on my website. Uh, that way you can download it. Um, and I think that's basically it. Um, I think that it was a very interesting project and a lot of little gadgets over there. But if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and uh, let me know. And don't forget to, to like and subscribe. It's uh, very helpful. Um, and it's helping me to know that you guys like what I'm doing. All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you.